So if you could recommend some good underground bands, if, whether they're from your area or if you've been like, if you just know some bands, like if you could recommend some real good underground bands for everybody listening, uh, who would you give? I would definitely say that I've been listening to them constantly forever. Um, album, they're from Rogers, Ohio. Mm-hmm. And they're just sweet, just check them out. I, don't, I won't say any more. But um, obviously the Cheats, we support them guys, the Traditionals. Um, you guys, you guys need to start playing more fucking shows. <laughs> That's for sure. Um, violent Offense, I mean, if, if you just, I, I can't even really name them off because I'm like, I support this local scene so much, you know what I mean? There's so many good, good musicians and talented bands in this area that, like, everybody's just got to get together and we got to do this thing and get everybody out there, you know? Definitely, man. A lot of... Lot, it seems like there's a lot of bands and just not enough people booking, you know, so... Gotta get off well, and it's not even the booking thing. It's like everybody complains there ain't nothing to do around here anymore. You book a badass show, nobody shows up, you know? Oh, I hear you, man. I definitely hear you there. Um, but, I mean, I mean, there's definitely a scene in this area, you know? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, that's exactly what we're trying to do, man. Just trying to promote some underground bands. People listening... It is way more important for you to be out there, you know, going to shows, supporting local bands, supporting your friends' bands, than sitting here listening to this interview. There are more important things to do. For sure. So, um, what are some of your favorite, well, you just named a bunch of good bands, but, like, who have you uh, played with, like, even recently, who, uh, you know, just, like, put on a great show? Um, well, we just opened up for, uh, the business. They're, they're legends. They're from the UK. They're, like, Boy Legends, if, you know, so if you're familiar with that scene, you'd know the name. But uh, we just played with them, and uh, we haven't really had too many n- newer shows since uh, we got the new lineup, lineup but we yeah. just played a sweet-ass show. We had Crisis in America, they played. Um, mm. Don't Wake the Dead, Tallest Buildings in Norway, and From Earth. And, I mean, that, that, that was a good show, you know. Awesome, yeah, definitely. Check out some of those bands, everybody. So, uh, what's one of your uh, what's your favorite CD that's come out? Your favorite CD that's been put out in the past five years? Mm. I, re- I, re- I really couldn't say that because I mean, me myself, I I really haven't like bought any one CD. Mm-hmm. Just I I just listen, you know. If I hear about a band, I'll check them out online and stuff like that. But yeah, I mean, so I've been kind of lackluster easy. with the buying of new music and stuff like that, so. I feel it, man. I feel it for sure. Um, so do you have, like, a favorite, like, philosopher, author? Um, I I am a bookworm. I read a lot, but, you know, I mean, I I just read whatever's interesting at the, you know, at the point in time, so. But I I do read a lot of Henry Rollins' written stuff and I mean right if, if you never read anything by him if you see it definitely pick something up by him because he's a very smart man definitely so um I know I've been mentioning a lot this interview but uh the song Plastic obviously one of my favorites by Dead City Dealers who inspired that song anybody specific um I actually don't know the girl's name um but that song the guitar parts were written by me and Sam and um, it was actually another song that a previous band that we were in did. We just kind of changed it up a little bit because we liked the riff. But as far as the lyrics, our drummer at the time, Ryan Bauer, he, it was some some love song about some girl that dogged him. So him and Sam sat down and wrote the lyrics together. So as far as the girl, you would have to message him and ask him what her name was. <laughs> Awesome, man. Yeah, that's an interesting story. But it fits a lot of girls that you meet. So. That's, <laughs> that's for sure. Living in Youngstown with the uh, college scene around here, for sure. Yep, yep. Um, so, oh, man, I just had a question. I just lost it. I hate when that happens. Um, all right, well, hey, uh, about to wrap up this interview. I'd like to thank you for coming down. Do you have anything you want to, uh, actually, just for picking up the phone? <laughs> Uh, have anything that you uh, just want to say to the people listening? Any like last uh, comments or ideas? Well, yeah, definitely to everybody listening. Make sure you do check out every week, see what's going on in your area, and you 
know, check out some of these local bands because there's a lot of badass things happening. You know, a lot of badass bands not not getting enough attention that they need. And uh, while you're doing that, check us out. You can check us out on Facebook. It's just www.facebook.com slash Dead City Dealers. And uh, make sure you check out this weekly, uh, what's it called, the Weekly Punk Showcase. Weekly make punk sure you check that out every week, too, because it's going to be a badass thing. Thanks a lot, man. I appreciate that. Oh, no problem. Yeah, keep posting with the Weekly Punk Showcase. We're going to be posting uh, some links for Dead City Dealers, places you can download some of their music, check out some of their stuff, maybe even uh, check out some of the like videos for shows or whatever. Um, I want to thank you again, man. I really appreciate you uh, doing this interview, man. Oh, I appreciate you asking me to. Yeah, dude. That's what it's all about, man. All right. I'll see you later, man. Cheers. All right. Thanks a lot.